From 1953 to 1987, the Marine Corps base at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina provided residents and employees with drinking water that was heavily contaminated with toxic chemicals. Studies have shown that the contaminated water at Camp Lejeune has caused birth defects, cancer, and neurological conditions. Many Camp Lejeune water contamination victims have brought civil lawsuits in the past, but a harsh law in North Carolina called a statute of repose has effectively blocked all of these cases. Now, however, Congress is poised to fix this injustice by passing a new federal law that will give former Lejeune residents the ability to file water contamination lawsuits despite the law in North Carolina. The new federal law is called the Camp Lejeune Justice Act, which has been merged into a larger bill called the Honoring Our Pact Act, or PACT Act. In March 2022, the House of Representatives passed the PACT Act by a vote of 256 to 174. The bill was then sent to the Senate, and on June 16th, the Senate passed the bill by a vote of 84 to 14. The Senate added several amendments to the PACT Act, which meant that it had to be sent back to the House for approval. A quick approval vote was expected from the House, but last week, a technical objection to the constitutionality of the bill derailed that timeline. The PAC Act, as revised by the Senate, contains a tax provision. The provision gives small tax credits to VA doctors who relocate to underserved areas. Under the Constitution, all tax and revenue bills are supposed to originate from the House. But since this provision was added by the Senate, a group of House members cited it as grounds for a blue slip objection that could send the bill back to the Senate for correction. One way to resolve the impasse would be to send the bill back and have the Senate simply strike the provision. All indications are that this is just a technical delay and there is still overwhelming bipartisan support for the bill, which will most likely get passed after Congress comes back from its July 4th recess later this month.